What is going on, y'all? Um, so this is going to be a little bit of a different video. This isn't a TTM-related video. Um, this is going to be more of an IP. Um, a buddy of mine that's been in one of the Facebook groups that I've been in for years and years, named Jeff or Jeffrey, um, told me about a signing, uh, more of a paid appearance, that happened about two weeks ago at a casino in Biloxi, Mississippi. Um, and, man, he killed it. Um, it was Hall of Famer Ricky Jackson, and if any of y'all are friends with me on Facebook or social media, you've seen it all over the place. I was so freaking geeked out yesterday um, about the, the score that me and my wife were able to get while we were there. Um, so he told me about the signing, and he's like, hey man, it's happening again in two weeks. Um, you should think about going. So it's only about two hours from here, so it's a smidge less, but two hours. And um, so for the past two weeks, I've been buying, you know, Ricky Jackson rookie cards, Ricky Jackson lots here and there. I think I had about 20 or 25 items. I think Jeff got 25 or 30 items last time. I can't remember. It was quite a bit. Um, and then the first 50 to come in the door get signed many helmets. And then throughout the Saints game, um, that's the reason he's there is, is for the Saints game. Um Throughout the Saints games, like in the quarters and halves and all that crap, um, they gave away signed jerseys. The jerseys were um, really, really bad knockoff jerseys, so um, I didn't win one of those, and I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, so me and the wife got there. Um, Mr. Jackson was a little bit late. It was raining cats and dogs outside, um, so we had a little appetizer and a couple, a couple cocktails, um, just waiting for him to show up. And then he showed up, and the people didn't. <laughs> or the fans didn't. Uh, I think through the whole event, we were there for about two hours watching the game, so on, um, playing some casino games or slots and tables and all that crap. We were there for about two or three hours, and I think total there might have been 100 people show up. Um, it was so slow at one point um, that if you were dining in the little restaurant, they had these little, um, they had these waitresses dressed up like referees and like little skimpy outfits. They were like literally just coming up to your table and dropping off mini helmets. Um, I seen one dude get like four mini helmets, so I was like, "Holy smokes!" Um, so here's the mini helmet me and my wife got. Um, this is the one that she got. Really, really nice. And of course, this isn't authenticated or anything like that. Um, but it doesn't have to be. If you're familiar with Ricky Jackson's signature, you know for a fact that that is his signature. And then this is the one I got. So, really, really freaking cool. And these mini helmets cost us zero. <laughs> Not a dime. Um, I just went up to the waitress when I seen them bringing them out. They were putting them on the stage there in front of the big TVs. And I was like, hey, what do you got to do to have one of those? She's like, just ask. And I'm like, okie dokie. Um, so she handed me one, and I went back to the table and told my wife, go up there, get one of those. Um, so that's that. Um, so we got in line, um, a line of every bit of three people, um, to meet Mr. Jackson. Super freaking nice. I had, um, a piece of cardboard for my wife, um, with the photo, what are they, photo corners. I think I had about eight cards on there. And then I had, a, a book, a traditional book that a lot of us autograph seekers have. And I think I had six cards on each, something like that. So I went up there first. I got a picture with him. And um, the, they actually took the picture themselves and printed it out right there, but I already put the picture up. Um, this was the first thing I got signed was this Goal Line art card. Like an idiot, I forgot my um, blue Sharpie on the way up there, um, so everything is in black. So I got that. And what's funny about this is when he seen this, he was like, man, where would you get these? These things go for about $100 now, don't they? And I was like, ooh. I didn't want to bust your bubble there, Mr. Jackson. I got this for five bucks on eBay. Um, granted, it's unsigned, um, but really, really freaking happy to have this in the Goal Line Art Collection. Um, and I'm just going to go through these. Two of two of these Pawinis. You notice he forgot this this card right here is the only card that uh, I think he forgot to put Hall of Fame on, which is perfectly fine. I think. Uh, Mr. Jackson might suffer from dementia, um, which a lot of the football players from that era do. 
Um, the reason I say that because I went up to him, shook his hand, we took a picture immediately. Um, he signed five items for me at the time. I'm sorry, there's jets flying over. Um, he signed five items for me, and he's like, hey, would you like to have a picture before you left? And I was like, uh, we actually took one, Mr. Jackson. So he's like, oh, okay, okay. Um, two of this upper deck card. This is 1992, I believe. I've always liked this freaking photo for some reason. Um, the only thing that would have made it better is in blue, but hey, what are you going to do? So freaking cool. This is an 87 Tops. Some score. Uh, let's see, that's unsigned, that's unsigned. I kind of have a thing for custom cards. Um, if y'all have watched my videos for a while, um, I don't make them. I wish I was was talented enough um, to do that, and I'm sure I could if I spent the time and energy to learn. I'm just not very tech savvy. Um, but I do have some decent design skills in me, so like whenever I'm working with Tanner, it would be, hey, can you do this, can you do that, can you do this? And between my tweaks and peaks and, and someone like Tanner's freaking um, awesome skills that he has already. And we typically make some really awesome customs. Um, but this is another buddy of mine named Brian. Um, he made this card for me. So really freaking happy. Really, really happy to add that. I think it's really freaking cool. And National Treasures. This one's, come on. Well, it doesn't want to focus for whatever reason. There we go. So, really cool. And then, these were the ones I was the most excited about. I'm going to show you five or six of his rookie cards. Um, none of these are dupes. So, really freaking happy. I will um, grab my magnifying glass before I put these up and see which, probably two or three look the best and then I'll be sending these off in the January PSA DNA submission um, to get not only authenticated but probably graded at least one of them um, so that is that man it couldn't have been any freaking cooler um, so like I said I went up there once I got five items signed my wife had six or seven or eight something like that and then we noticed he was just sitting up there he had he had a, a couple of his buddies, an older gentlemen, probably in their 60s to early 70s, and they were all watching the game, just shooting the breeze. And so I told the wife, I'm like, man, we have like a ton of freaking cards left. Uh, at the time, I noticed people already went up there three. Sometime one dude went up there four times, and he had no problem. You know what I mean? Uh, he was getting paid to be there, so what the hell? Um, so I went back up there, um, shook his hand. I took a selfie with him at that time. Um, one of his buddies like, and you you play in the in the NFL? And I was like, no, sir. Um, I'm like, I played a little a little football um, back in the day, but I'm like, I'm in the military. And he's like, oh, what do you do? And I'm like, I'm a jet engine mechanic. And Ricky Jackson started laughing, and I wasn't even talking to Ricky at the time. I was talking to his buddy that was right next to him. And Ricky Jackson started laughing. He's like, man, this guy owns owns two planes. And he was like, oh, I don't own two planes, man. He goes, you own two planes, fool? And he's like, okay, I own two planes. And I was like, well, what do you do, sir? And he's like, well, I'm kind of an entrepreneur, small-time entrepreneur. And I'm like, I don't know too many small-time entrepreneurs that own two planes. And then he started laughing. And uh, Ricky was like, man, you should tell him. You should tell him your engine problem. Maybe he can help you out. And he's like, you know anything about piston engines? And I was like, instantly, I was like, holy shit, man. I thought we just went like back to the age of the dinosaurs. I was like, uh, no, sir, I don't. And he's like, well, what kind of engines do you work on? I was like, I work on like turbofan engines, jet engines. He's like, oh, yeah, I definitely don't have any of those in my planes. He goes, told you, Ricky, he couldn't help me. <laughs> so um, I was really, really freaking happy I went back for the second time. Um, I'm normally not the type to go back and get seconds when it comes to an autograph appearance. Um, but I was really freaking happy I did because I got an awesome, the selfie's way better than the picture that they took. 
And just the experience of shooting the breeze with him and his buddies was really freaking cool. I think I was sitting there for probably about five to ten minutes um, just shooting the shit with them, and that was really cool. So that is that. I have a ton of mail that I have ready to send out. I just haven't sent it out because I'm moving. Um, so probably a week or so before I move, I will just flood the freaking mailbox with outgoing TTMs. Um, so I imagine once we get into Virginia, we probably won't be there but a week or two before TTMs are, are coming back. Um, so that is what's going on with me. Uh, but I don't have anything else to show y'all or tell you. So until next time, adios. Be safe. Bye-bye.